Hello everyone, this is Iftikhar from Iftikhar.net. Today in this video tutorial, I will show you how to add GTIN number for your WooCommerce simple product. To demonstrate this feature, I already have a WordPress installation on my local computer and I already created a, I have created a simple product with a $50 price tag. But as you can see from the inventory section, there is no form field to put the GTN number for the simple product. However, using the simple snippet provided on my blog post, you can add this feature on your site as well, which you can use in so many different ways. However, the basic way how it works is that um, you have to open up the functions.php page for the current theme that you are using on your WordPress site and simply copy this snippet from here to all the way bottom and paste it on your functions.php page of your current theme that you are using. Just simply save the functions.php page and go back to your WordPress and open up the product and refresh the page as you can see from the inventory section, there is an a GTIN form field. So now you can simply add a number and update your product information. And this number should be saved on your database as a GTIN for your product. Now let's check it out what exactly is happening on our database. So let's open it up and let's go back to our database and take a look at the post meta table if you go there as you can see the number has been saved on our database and you can grab those information using the snippet code provided over here and you can display them on your website as well if you want uh, for that one you have to go back to your template file over here that's called single dot product if you open it up, you should be able to see that. And if you place that snippet code that we just added over here like this, you should be able to display your GTN number as well. So this is how it works. I'm not quite sure which template you, would you be using, but whatever the template you are using on the single product.php page or uh, whatever the template page that you have to display the product information, that's where you have to place this snippet to display the GTN number. That's pretty much that all you have to do. But the most important part that we need is that form field, which we implemented from the functions.php page of the current template that you are using on your WordPress installation. That's all you gotta do. And I will provide you the full URL of this post where you can find the snippet code. At the video description check the link below and you should be able to find the total post over there thank you